All right, good morning. Um, so a few things here in regards to the injuries with David Montgomery. We have a, uh, a sprained knee and he's going to miss some time. Uh, the good news is that he's, you know, he's not done for the year. Uh, he is expected to be back fully at practice today. And then the rest of the, the injuries, we will update you after practice. I think, you know, uh, moving on, the big thing for, for all of us is, is building off of last week's division win. Um, proud of the players and, and how they responded. Uh, it's always hard. It's never easy, but it's always hard to bounce back after those, those tough losses like we did. And I think that our guys did that. Um, it's easy then. It makes it easier to, and a lot easier to have the belief in your players and coaches um, to, to be able to bounce back and move forward when they respond like that. Um, I told you the last couple of weeks we've had some, some good conversations internally. Um, it's, it's helped us in the last couple of weeks. Continuing that process this week, it's, uh, it's, it's led to making the decision to move with Justin as a starter. Um, you know, we've been patient with this. Uh, we've grown with him. We're proud of Justin. Uh, he's been a great teammate from the very beginning. And I think what needs to be understood is that um, from Justin's side, you know, with the injury, the, the, the plan and the process that we had going into this um, was important to understand. And, and then when Andy unfortunately got hurt with his, with his knee, that sped the process up, that sped the plan up. And so um, I've always said from the beginning to everybody in here, to our players, coaches, to, 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 to you all when you all ask, is that um, we'll know. And um, he's done everything to, to show us that he's ready for this opportunity. Um, I think that uh, Coach Laser has done an amazing job at, at really helping to get this process going, uh, just the whole thing in general. Um, I, I just, he makes my job as a head coach a heck of a lot easier, and, and that I appreciate. It's been awesome with that. Uh, the same with Coach Flip, uh, working with the quarterbacks. And, and so, there, you know, when you're developing guys, young guys like, like Justin and, and others, you know, dealing with Andy and Nick and, and different veterans, you need that as a head coach. You got to have those guys support you. And, and Bill has been phenomenal. So uh, I appreciate that. Um, you know, it's, it's, it'll be our job now as, as coaches to continue to teach and, and help him grow uh, as we go and, uh, um, and develop into that NFL um, quarterback that we know he can be. Now, uh, there's also going to be uh, ebb and flow with, with this process. We get that. Uh, we all understand that. But I think Justin has shown that he has the ability to, to also handle that. I mean, he, we, we all went through a pretty rough game uh, in Cleveland, and I love the way that he, he bounced back. Um, and so this is about everybody. This is all of us um, doing this together. Uh, in regards to Andy, um, you know, I, I, I can't say enough good things about Andy Dalton. He is, uh, I've been around a lot of special people, guys that have done things the right way. And, you know, you look at the situation and he's, um, I, I really think that, that he was playing well for us. Um, I love the type of teammate that he is and, and continues to be. Um, he's as good as they get, really, I mean that. And, and when you have, you know, um, when you have to have these conversations with these guys that, you, that you're with every day and you build these relationships, I'm just going to be completely honestly and, and real with you, man. It's hard. It's not easy. And, uh, and so there's that part of this. And, and I just appreciate the way that, uh, um, that he's handled everything. And, and so um, he's as special as they get. And I've been around a lot of special guys. He's as special as they get. So I just I think that's important. Um, so I know you guys will have a lot of questions, but I just want to um, you know, let you all know from, from that side of it where it's at. Matt, how do you, this is a different message than you communicated on Monday. So what pushed you guys over the, the, the edge here to, to stick with Justin? Cole? Well, I think the biggest thing is, Dan, that, again, the, the beauty of how we do things, and this is what I love about our, our building and our, our staff, and, and I told you with, even with the players last week, like we, we talk through things, and things are fluid. And uh, things, things are, are always fluid, really, in, in, in any sport. But um, we, we discuss things. We're open. We have open communication. Uh, you know, just being able to, for me as a head coach, to be able to listen as you go through the process. And I think that, um, you know, really the last 
24, 48 hours when you when you go through everything and you, and, and you you know inevitably we, you always know that you're going to be in this situation where with our situation that you're going to have to make a decision right and so you go through that and and that's day by day you know and and I trust me I I 100% understand like when y'all ask every week about know who's one who's two who's three and all that stuff I get that I understand that um, but at the same time you know we're, we're always talking as a staff uh, every every day every practice like where things are at and I think after this past weekend with Justin and the growth that we saw you know it, it really the discussions that we had was to be able to go this this direction and so that's where some of the change was over those last couple of weeks yeah. to, to go from the beginning you were explaining to us the, the template of what Kansas City did where they sat Mahomes for the entire yeah. year to now four games and you're saying this is this is the guy that gives us the best chance to win. His case, it has to be more convincing and overwhelming than what you just saw in the, in this recent game. Has he, has he just won you over completely over the last six months? Yeah, I, I think that's probably a big part of this is that the, the growth is that you see um, when he got here in OTAs, we weren't sure how it was going to be. When, when he showed up in training camp, um, we weren't sure how it was going to be, and he, show, he, he showed us that he was ready to take that step. We got to the preseason, albeit whoever he's playing against, he showed us that he's ready to go out there and make plays. And then when we got to the season as the backup, he was showing us, as we said, inspire your teammates when you're out there, right? When you're out there as a look team quarterback, inspire your teammates. Make others better. Um, uh, and so uh, he did that. Well, then he gets, unfortunately, an opportunity through Andy's health to go out there and play. And um, he goes in as the, as the backup that game, the, the game with Cincy, and then he plays uh, against Cleveland. And, and now he's bounced back from that. But there's every, really, not just the last week or two, but this whole entire time we've seen a little, just incremental growth. That's going to be very important for us watching that moving forward. Are there going to be times, we've talked about it, are there going to be times where there's a bad play, a bad decision, something that happens that uh, a rookie quarterback normally makes? Yes, there is. That's going to happen. But is there that growth as well? And that's going to be important. That's our job is to make sure that we help him get to that. And, and how do we do that? Well, we work through his strengths, and we make sure that whatever we're doing, um, we simplify the game for him as much as we can because he's a rookie. And, and so now, at, at the same point in time, coaches got to step their game up, and his teammates got to do the same. So I think a long-winded answer is this isn't something that just happened you know, just right away. That he's, he's grown to this point. He's earned it. He's, he's worked hard, and um, and I think that now he has this opportunity. With, with all that, that's not, this is not just the run-of-the-mill normal quarterback change. How, how do you feel about something that is really a massive shift for the franchise? Right. No, I think that uh, for for all of us, you, you're right because there's a there's a lot of discussions that go into this, um, and and I think that in the end, um, what you have to do is understand that. Uh, you know, we knew when we when we drafted him that he was going to have to work hard to get to this point. We just didn't know when. And and again, I, I can't be any more honest when I tell you what the plan was from the very beginning was to have Andy come in here and and be the starter and insulate him and teach him along with Nick, which is so awesome. It's so awesome to have that. And they were doing that this entire time. They're still doing it. Um, but then when that happened to Andy. It, it did change the course of where we're at because it, it forced him to play. And now when you, now you get to see him not in the preseason, right, uh, but you get to see him play, and now we got to be able to say, okay, where is he um, with, with what he's doing as an NFL quarterback? Where is he? Do we feel comfortable with him? Like that's a bunch of the other stuff behind the scenes, but obviously we do. And now, now we got to move forward with it. And you're right, it is a, a big decision, but we feel very good about it and look forward to it. And because of the plan that, that you said that you yeah. had for Justin Fields, are you a little bit surprised that Fields has progressed to where he is now? No, not be, not since the first couple of weeks that I met him and I really saw what his preparation was like and, and his competitiveness and his drive and his want to be great. I mean, um, it doesn't surprise me. It, it doesn't. And, and again, um, there has to be a lot of credit here that goes to the people that he's with every day, like every day, all the time. So those two quarterbacks in Andy and Nick and, and Coach Laser and Coach Flip, those guys have done like this. Is, they, they knew going into this thing that how big this is. And uh, that's why the trust that I have in them and what they've done 
is uh, is pretty cool. And I think now Justin has has uh, worked hard to get to that point. Matt, Matt, with Justin as quarterback, how will you weigh winning versus development of the quarterback? In other words, if you lose some games with Justin that you might have won with Andy, but Justin shows development, looks like he's on the right road, will you be good with that? So so this is Justin's time, and, and, and we're so confident moving forward with that. Um, that kind of gets into what we've talked about before about the positivity, the, the glass half full, thinking the what ifs, and and that's where we're at right now. Where does, where does development of the quarterback play? What, what's how much of a priority is development of the quarterback? Yeah. Now you've made this move. No, it, it's important. It's very important. You want to you want to be able to see growth. And what is that? And there's a there can be a long definition to what the growth and development is of a quarterback. And so that's that's our job as coaches to be able to do that, not just on game day, but prep from Monday to Saturday. And have him understand, you know, how he can get he he can't just get better on Sunday, right? He's got to do that, but he can't just get better there. He's also got to get better Monday through Saturday, and there's ways to do that. And that's where the coaches and teammates come in, and that's what we'll continue to help him with. You talked, you talked about changing. About, you talked about changing. Of course, I mean this wasn't the plan to begin with. When it became clear to you that that you may turn this way from Justin, what were the conversations like with your assistants? With is this something that the entire building talks about, or is it, or is it just your So, so number one, um, that's the the beauty of the way we've been here in the last four years is that there's always open, constant communication. So, obviously, in in this situation, there's been that, and, and for me to be able to, once we get as a staff internally and and, and we we discuss and talk through this stuff um, on on a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, we do it together. And then, um, you, you know, obviously it's stating the obvious that the final decision is mine. So, but listening, talking through and all that stuff, I thought the, I thought the communication was great. And I just appreciate my staff and just, just listening. Was this over the last couple of days, couple of weeks? Uh, well, it, I, that's it's all, it's, form, though. yeah, no, it's, it's, Honestly, it is it is all the time that we talk, and there's different conversations about different things. This one here, the last you know, 36 hours, something like that, somewhere in there, when you know you got to start getting to a point where um, you know you're going to game plan, and you also have um, you know what 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 I, what I do, what I like to do, and what I need to do is flip myself and say I'm Justin, Andy, and Nick, right? And how do I want that handled? How do those discussions? want to go where where is that and um you know so ha having that discussion with them which was you know again i'm going to keep that internal but it was it's something that needed to be done and and so there's a lot there's there's a lot of communication that goes on amongst a lot of people well, you talked about you, you, you talked about and it becomes a starter again go ahead i'll come back to you brad what is there any decision, is there any scenario outside of injury where this decision is reversed and Andy becomes a starter again no, this is this is Justin's time, and I think that again, it kind of goes back to what what he was asking with, with where we're at. We're so confident in where he's at, uh, with, uh, with where Justin's at, and just continue. We let let him grow. Again, like I think the biggest thing is for us to understand that um, it's not going to be perfect. Justin knows that, right? We all understand. There, there's going to be some times that things happen, uh, but we got to stay uh, continue to stay positive. You talked about. Delivering the message to Andy. Mm -hmm. I'm curious how the locker room took it because obviously that's news that you you have to present to them as well. What was the reaction like? Yeah. How did that go? Yeah, it, it's something that uh, you know, for for that scenario right there, I had the discussion with those two guys and the other guys. They they understand. We we uh, they know when they see who's up in the plays and who's doing what, and that that's uh, and then you have you have some talks with guys. Um, as well that you trust. And, and I think, uh, again, that kind of falls into what the beauty is of our team, is we, we do a lot of, a lot of uh, good, healthy communication. How do, you, how do you contextualize the game that Justin had Sunday against the Lions? Obviously, there was things that were encouraging in there, but it wasn't this spectacular for him to, to be honest about that performance. How do you contextualize right. it? Yeah, so um, again, knowing that you go into this thing, you want to, number one, come out with a win, number one. And we knew that. And then number two is, when you make some, some plays that he made because of who he was and how he did it, whether it's decision-making, the throw. I, you guys heard me label the, the throw that he had to Mooney, the deeper one. Um, you, you know, I think you just you got to understand that uh, for him being in that, especially bouncing back from that Cleveland game. Like, I think that speaks in itself right there. There's a lot of guys that might not have come back from that. That, that was tough. But, he, but that's just a, that just shows to who he is. 
and all of us just you know knowing and seeing what he's about and then that trust you know Justin has earned that trust with us and and now that's kind of why we went that way you know now, what did his ability to get the ball downfield do to your offense because I think five out of the 17 passing attempts were completions over 20 yards that it, it was it was big because um you know that really helps the run game and we weren't real big on that when you look at the hit chart, right? The, the, the passing chart of where those were coming from. They, they weren't happening much. Um, so anybody that sees that is the first thing you look at. So you got to be able to – even if you don't complete them, there's some that are not completed, you're helping your run game out. You're helping your linemen out. So when you connect on them and you're able to flip the field huge and, um, you know, that, that's going to be – like there's going to be some games you get – you might get more of those for different reasons. In some games, you might not get as many, but in any case, you always have to be trying to get them. And I think we, that's where, I, again, Bill did a phenomenal job. Like during the game, um, for me, it was the most connected that I've been to all three phases that I really felt like uh, that felt good. And, and then Bill just going out there, and, and I must have told him like five times on the headset. You know, just keep doing it, man. You, you're rocking and rolling, and it was awesome. And so for him to be doing that, he's giving those guys a chance. Did unlocking that in their offense influence this decision? There's, there were so many things that went into this, and I think that, um, you know, again, for, for Andy, Andy, let, let's, let's not forget how Andy was playing, right? You know, Andy, we, we had some, some drives that were going on against the, uh, a Rams defense that first week um, where they really don't – they try not to give you a lot of deep shots. And in the second game against Cincy, Andy was moving the ball pretty well, got a touchdown, and was going down for another one and got hurt. So um, I, I just think that regardless of the quarterback, those shots need to be involved. I know it wasn't a traditional competition, but for you personally, is there any sense of relief that you put, sort of put these questions and these types of conversations to bed for good? Well, the number one thing that I under, that I understood as a head coach and that we all understood as an organization, um, you know, Ryan and myself as we went through this and our coaching staff is knowing that when you um, make a trade up to go get a guy to, 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 to develop and be the franchise quarterback, you always know that there's going to be that want to get him in there ASAP. At the same point in time, again, we had our plan um, with Andy and developing Justin. And so um, – you know, I think that for me, I just I knew it came with the territory, and all we wanted to do was do everything we can to do what's best for this team. And uh, uh, again, I'd be lying to you if I if I sat here and told you it wasn't really hard to have that discussion with Andy yesterday. It, it, it's uh, that's those are those are um, those are not easy discussions because there's the the human side of it, and I don't care who you are if you got a good heart. That stuff hurts. On the flip side of that, you know, coaches, especially in their fourth year, have to win games, and rookie quarterbacks often don't don't win games. How much of a risk is this for you as a head coach to, to make this move? I'm worried about doing what's best for the Bears, and that's 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 the only thing that matters. And you know, um, that's everything that I just said here this morning is the why, and that that's that's it. That's the only thing that matters. Fields, he does a lot of things well, but the speed has got to be on the top of the list of why. You guys were interested in him, why he's been successful as a college quarterback. Are you committed now that he's your starter? Is it philosophically something for you where you want that to still be part of his game? Or are you, you know, would you try to form him into a different type of quarterback? There's, Jason, there's so much that goes into this whole um, developing the quarterback. Uh, you never want to lose what he has with that speed. You never want to lose what he has with that ability. I mean, guys, the, 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 the third down conversion that we had last week, uh, where he ran around and beat a safety around the edge. That's, there's a lot that can't do that at the quarterback position. So you don't want to lose that. Uh, and there's things that we can do schematically that stresses the defense uh, with how we game plan and what we do. Um, at the same point in time, Justin will be the first to tell you that he, he wants to be the best quarterback that he can be. And so that's our job as coaches, teaching him the game. That's what these guys, Flip and Coach Laser, are doing with uh, progressions, footwork, timing, mechanics, learning from mistakes. Like, and, and that's the developmental part. The running can be part of being a yeah. quarterback, and it can sure. be a progression in yep. a way, can't it? Yeah, absolutely. No, that's real. I mean, there's there's some quarterbacks that you're seeing now that that are able to to be like Justin that can that 
have you know elite arm talent right downfield all that stuff and that are working on everything else but but also can do things and scare defenses with their legs i mean you, you see it throughout the league how did eddie goldman how did eddie goldman uh come out of the detroit game how did you evaluate his play and can can you just let us know where, where hicks is at yeah I, I think uh i think with eddie uh he had about 34 snaps brad um i for for all of us from what i saw it's exactly what what you'd think you'd see from Eddie, which is he does everything what you want him to do. I think the biggest thing is probably just keeping an eye on conditioning, first time he played in a while. But I was pleased with, with where he is. And, and again, um, with, with Hicks, is, you know, with having it the first play, it's unfortunate. Um, we know how great of a player he is for us, and we'll have updates with him after practice. And then, Matt, with the. When you put Justin under center, yeah. more Sunday than you had before, I, I realized that that could unlock a running game a little bit. Did you see anything with how he was under center that you liked uh, or, or that looked different? No, I mean, everything was – that you know, for, for him doing a lot of, a lot of gun in college, um, uh, and, and we, we went through that uh, in Kansas City with Patrick. You know, he was all gun, and so taking a snap for the first time and all that. But, no, I think he's done a great job. And Flip does a great job. I mean, you should hear the details – when Flip's talking about that clock around their feet and where you got to step at 4.30, at 6.30, 7.30, all that stuff. So um, he's Justin's been great with that. And then, Matt, do you, uh, Dalton, do you think he'll be healthy enough to be the two this week? I it? do, yeah. 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 Yep. And what was his response when you had the, the real conversation? Yeah, it, it's, um, you know, what would your response be? Be very, <coughs> very, very disappointed. Yeah, I mean, that, that's and, – and I don't say that tongue-in-cheek. I'm being real. I mean, that that's – it's hard, you know. It, it's hard because, um, again – I can't state enough of, of how much Andy has put into this organization, this team, um, his commitment. Felt like hell to get to get back um, with his knee. Um, he looked looked really good uh, yesterday, and so I think like um, any normal person that goes through this, as a competitor that cares and is passionate about what they do, and that like that's a, that that's hard. That's hard, but. Some people don't have this. Andy has it. When you're told that news, you're allowed to feel how you want to feel. Some people don't have the next level where they're able to be still be a great teammate and a great person. And is it easy for him right now? No. Is there, is there times now when, you know, and all, there's a lot of stuff that when you get to practice, where you're at and how you do things in the meeting, that's normal. You're allowed to feel that way. But um, one thing that, that, he's earned from me and our coaches is a hell of a lot of respect because that guy's a freaking stud. So I'm happy as hell that he's on our team and I appreciate the way he understood it and, uh, and the way he handled it. But he, he also cares immensely about this team and that, and, and I appreciate that about him. Matt, 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 do you think you're, what was, what was Justin's reaction? Um, Justin was, he, he, just like he normally is, right? Very stoic. Uh, he, his, the, the stage for him never gets too big. The, the, he has is, he is, uh, been in this position before. Um, I think that when you have somebody like that that, that understands um, how he's gotten to this point and, uh, and, and knows that he's worked hard to get to this point, that he's, he's ready for this, this opportunity. And, uh, again, j just like the, the, he always is, he's himself. And I think that's the best part about him is he doesn't change. Do you think your insistence that you know Andy was the starter if healthy? Do you think Say that, that one more time? Your insistence, like your incessant message that he's the starter when healthy, Andy Dalton. Do you think that was taken on as a challenge for for Justin? Did he perceive that as a challenge? I, to get I, I, I don't. I don't know that. I don't know that. I th I think uh, you know those guys. Um, I don't know what they see and don't see, but I just know that all they do is come out and they help each other. They compete every day. Um, I don't think Ju Ju Justin has enough inner drive to want to be great. He doesn't need to be reading stuff or seeing this or that. I mean, he's he's internally motivated, and he's got, uh, you know, same with Andy. Like they they just they just go play ball and they support each other. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.